Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about NDPOCs, Naked Daily Point of Controls. I'm going to be going over what they are and uh, a free tool on TradingView that you can use to mark out these levels. So an NDPOC or a Naked Daily Point of Control is, well just that, a Naked Daily Point of Control. It is a point of control of a one day range that has been untouched since it formed and if you do have the paid version of TradingView um, then you will have access to this tool right here um, it is called the session volume profile it is right here there's also session volume profile HD um, they're slightly different but they pretty much give you the same things um, the only difference is the HD one will adjust the uh, levels depending on how much price action is on your screen. So like if I zoomed out with the HD one, then some of these levels might adjust a little bit. And um, I like to use just the normal SVP. Even with this tool, you know, it's not going to give you exact levels. In fact, uh, I found that sometimes these... Uh, point of controls will adjust as well, even though I, I think they're not supposed to. Um, but in general, you know, the, these give you pretty accurate NDPOCs. And uh, you can see with this tool, what it is doing is it's basically just, uh, you know, drawing a fixed range volume profile across each uh, day. You can see that where one ends and the other one begins is right at uh, 20 right at the hour 20, which is right when the daily candles close and open. So each new day, it's going to start a new fixed range volume profile, essentially. And pretty simply, in order to find the NDPOCs, you want to look for uh, one of these point of controls that has not been touched since that day closed. And we have a great example of that right here. Yesterday, you know, Bitcoin had a large move to the downside um, and the point of control was coming in right around 20,400 and since the uh, daily candle of yesterday closed, price has not come back up to test this level. So this would be a NDPOC and typically uh, these levels will be reactive or most reactive on the first retest and um, if you see confirmations as we come up to test those levels then they can be uh, significant levels to take trades from and I will go over how you can uh, find these NDPOCs if you don't have paid trading view in a little bit but first I want to go through and uh, you know just mark out some of the other ones I see so right down here I see another NDPOC. I'll mark that out. And the interesting thing with this one is it is coming in right below this naked daily level. So right here we have a very nice level of confluence. NDPOC and an end daily level coming in right around 19300. So I'd say this right here is going to be a pretty key level. Looks like we have another one coming in right down here around right below 19k. And uh, so, you know, I'll mark that one out as well. And um, the way I like to use these is um, I don't give them too much weight unless they are coming in at a significant level already. Unless I'm finding, you know, really strong confluence around these NDPOCs. Because I have seen plenty of instances where it will have an NDPOC and then, you know, price just absolutely will not respect it. It'll just blow straight through it. Um, and oftentimes uh, when that happens, there wasn't much confluence around that level to begin with. And actually, here's a great example of that. We had an NDPOC right over here. And uh, you can see price, you know absolutely just blew straight through it no respect given to that level and uh so i like to try and find confluence around these levels um even if it's local confluence even if it's just like you know a local golden pocket or a local volume level 
Um, and depending on how much confluence I find around these levels, I will, you know, sort of adjust my training plans for them. If it's like, you know, a low confidence level, um, not a lot of confluence, then I might try and take a scalp from there. But if it is a, uh, you know, if the level really interests me, like with this naked daily and uh, the NDPOC area right around here, then I might give it a little bit more weight. And I always like to uh, go through and mark out the new NDPOCs. You know, you get, um, well, you can get a lot of them. Um, sometimes, you know, if we're trading in a sideways range, you won't see as many of them. But when we see very volatile moves, you know, there's usually a pretty good chance that there will be an NDPOC forming somewhere along the way here. So you can mark these out um, pretty often. Uh, like every few days I'll go through and look for new ones and I like to keep them in a folder and I label NDPOCs and I uh, I like to put the dates on them because um, if you put the dates of uh, what day they formed then you can go back see okay this one formed on October 28th and well since then we have come back down to touch this level so this NDPOC right here is actually no longer an NDPOC you could still keep it on your chart and call it a daily point of control. Um, but oftentimes I'll just delete them after they've been hit. But now let's talk about if you don't have paid trading view. You can still get these NDPOCs. Um, but what I found is using this technique, sometimes they will be a little different than what um, the levels with this tool say. You know, they're not always going to be... 100% accurate like I said sometimes these point of controls like to move around just a little bit but um what I found is is using just a fixed range volume profile and uh drawing it over the entire day you usually get a point of control that is uh pretty similar to what the SVP tool is saying so as you can see I just uh you know drew a fixed range volume profile over uh well, not this entire day, but from when the uh, daily candle opened to the present. And the point of control is coming in right around the, you know, point of control of the SVP tool. So I'd say this general area is, you know, right around where the daily point of control is. It isn't a naked one, but let's go ahead and do this previous day. Let's see uh, if... The fixed range volume profile is giving us a naked daily point of control as well. And yeah, it looks like it is right on top of that. So in this case, it is very accurate. It is giving us the uh, point of control right where the other tool is giving it. And this technique is definitely a lot more tedious. It's going to take a lot more time to find these levels. But, you know, you can see you're getting accurate point of controls they're coming in right around the same area as uh with the session volume profile tool and um you know you don't have to have paid trading view in order to find these here's a here's an example of when it is you know way off um the point of control of this fixed range is coming in way up here but the uh point of control of the svp is coming in a lot lower so Sometimes it's not going to be accurate, but uh, turning off the SVP, you can see that where that point of control was, there is a spike of volume right here. So, you know, sometimes they will flip-flop between, you know, which level actually has the highest volume. And, um, you know, in the case of this fixed range, the highest volume was up here, but with the other tool, highest volume was right down here. And you can still kind of see that just with the uh, spike of volume right here. But uh, yeah, that is, you know, essentially how you can uh, get NDPOCs for free. Um, I typically like to pull these on, you know, large moves like this. And, uh, you know, right down here, this uh, point of control is coming in right where my NDPOC is. So, you know, it will be accurate a lot of the time won't be accurate all the time but um but yeah um that is you know basically how you can find naked daily point of controls 
It can give you some more key levels to mark out on your chart, more key levels to look for confluence with, and um, I I have been incorporating NDPOCs into my, uh, I guess you could say weekly TA. Um, I, I look for these at least every week. Usually it's every few days I'll go through and mark them out, but I've been marking them out consistently, and uh, you know these levels have been treating me well. Well, I think that is everything I wanted to go over today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I really appreciate the support, and uh, I will see you all in my next video. Peace.